Everyone, I'm Joe Torres. We begin in Brooklyn, where a man was killed at a gas station after he tried to stop his car from getting towed. Sonia Rincon is in Brownsville, where family and friends are gathered for a vigil tonight. Sonia. That's right, Joe, and that vigil is just now getting underway. This was a fight over a parking spot that normally would have cost the victim $10. Instead, it cost the 61-year-old man his life after he confronted the tow truck operator taking his car. Police say the 30-year-old tow truck driver punched him so hard he fell to the ground and hit his head. That tow truck driver has not yet been charged but is in police custody while the investigation continues. Now, family members say the victim, Carlisle Thomas, had an arrangement with the owner of this gas station that allowed him to park here for $10 if he couldn't find a spot on the street. This had been going on for years, they say. Now, Thomas's fiance tells us the owner had Thomas's number and could have called him if he needed to move the car, but for some reason decided to call a tow truck. And that's when that deadly argument unfolded right here in front of the gas pumps. She tells us she blames the gas station owner just as much as the tow truck driver for the death of the man she loved. He's very friendly. He's fun. <laughs> he was the life of the era. He was respected. He can talk to anyone. He have a dance he will do, and he can talk to anyone. And you can see here the vigil is underway at the gas station, which has been filled with candles. The gas is off so that they can do this safely. Carlisle Thomas's family and loved ones want to remember him in this way. The 61-year-old was a horse racing jockey back home in Jamaica when he was younger. He later worked at the aqueduct racetrack with the horses. His loved ones say he did not deserve this, and they want justice.